that, I'm going to jump over to our tracerplus.com uh, website here. I just want to show you some of the changes to the Solution Center. So if you go to tracerplus.com and go over, uh, jump over to the Solution Center link at the top, uh, you can see at the bottom, if you're familiar with this, we've had the categories in the past, but we've also added this device specific section here where we have the Motorola MT2000 series. If you click on this, it'll load uh, the different Tracer Plus desktop applications that we've pre-designed for the MT2000. So all of these here have been designed for, with the MT2000 screen in mind, uh, and, and really we're trying to grow this, this library uh, with different applications that we create, and we're trying to get feedback from our community to get different applications to load up on the website. So you can navigate these uh, applications we have here. If you open up one of these, it'll show you the uh, description of the application. Uh, this one happens to be a price markdown application with print support, uh, which can use the Bluetooth capabilities of the MT2000 series. Uh, over here, you can see a, a screenshot of the application. And you'll notice that this screen size here has been preset to the uh, QVGA screen size of the MT2000. So from the website, you can go ahead and download this. Uh, you can open it up in Tracer Plus Desktop, and then uh, go ahead and push it down to the device for, for the different applications that we have. But I'm going to go ahead and show you in the Tracer Plus Desktop uh, tool. So here's the Tracer Plus uh, Desktop Design tool. From the main screen, you can actually navigate those same categories from directly within the application. So I'm going to walk through uh, downloading uh, this price markdown application and push it out to the device. So what I'll do here is uh, I'll search for the MT2000 price markdown. If I select this, you can see the screenshot. It's the same that you just saw on the website there. You can jump through the rest of the import process. Now when I click uh, import, it's going to download it from our website and open it up in our Tracer Plus desktop tool. And you'll see in the project now that's open, we have two sessions. The price markdown, which is the form where you're actually doing the price uh, relabeling, and then an item list where you can preload the MT2000 with all of the items on the device. So if I select this price markdown form and jump over to the form designer, you'll notice that the, the screen here is set up uh, just like it was on our website. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and move this around and change anything. But what I'll do is I'll push it down to the MT2000 just so you, you can see a fully configured application uh, and how easy it is to, to deploy to the MT2000. So once it goes through the deployment process here, if I jump over to the MT2000 screen and open up Tracer Plus, click try it here because we're unregistered, you can see the two sessions that we had in our project, which we downloaded on the form, are on the home screen of the device. Now if I click the one key that's uh, mapped to this keypad on the MT2000, it'll open up our price markdown form. And you can see from the website, we were able to download this form. We, we didn't change it in this case, but now we have a fully configured form for the MT2000 to do sale labeling. So that's that's an unmodified form uh, that we've pushed the MT2000. And what I'd like to touch on a little bit today are some of the features in Tracer Plus that make it support the, the MT2000 series. So I'm going to uh, go back over to Tracer Plus Desktop. And I'll show you a couple of things here. Uh, to start, the we've added a printer uh, configuration form. Now, some of these uh, pre-configured applications that we have on our website have pre-designed sale labeling and uh, relabeling uh, type applications. And that's all configured within the Tracer Plus desktop tool. The only thing that you would have to change here is just the connection type to the printer. So in the case of the MT2000, you may be using a Bluetooth printer. You just uh, set up that connection. And now you can begin scanning these item numbers, change this percentage, and print out price sale markdowns to a mobile Bluetooth printer directly from the MT2000. Some of the other features within the form designer that we've added to support the MT2000 are some of the hotkey support. So in the past, uh, on, in the form designer, these button actions here, like the done, submit, and clear all in the form, you, you'd have to click them using the stylus or rely on some of the after scan settings, if you're familiar with them in Tracer Plus, to control the flow of how you're entering data on the device and the different actions that you can perform from the form. So what we've done is we've added hotkey support to all of the buttons. So in this case here, you can see I selected the submit button. This, this button would allow you to save the data that you fill out on the form. So after I scan the item number, enter a percentage markdown, you can go ahead and hit sub submit and that'll save it to the database. So now with the new additions, we've, we have this hotkey support here 
where you can see we've assigned that to the F2 key. So using the MT2000 now without the touch screen, you can hit F2, it'll automatically save that record and post it to uh, the database for updating of the sale price. Uh, so to show you uh, how you can quickly configure something like that, and uh, especially utilizing the power of the MT2000 with its Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth connections to a printer, I'm going to add a button on the form to, do, uh, to print a new sale label. So what I'll do here is I'll just add a new button to the form. Uh, its default caption there is new button. I'm going to change that to print. Okay, and then over in this action form here, I'll go ahead and change the action of what happens when you click this button. So some of the new uh, actions that we've added to the form, uh, and the one that I want to uh, show you here is this print action. So now when you fill out the form, enter a sale price, you can go ahead and hit that button and it'll go ahead and print to the Bluetooth printer, print a new label. So I can change that action here to print. <clears throat> the next thing I want to do for the MT2000 is change the hotkey so that you can now assign a hotkey to this button. So I'm going to select F5. And now when I hit the F5 key, fill out the form, it'll, it'll print the, the new sale label. Um, and without that touchscreen support, you're able to, to do that. So now I'll go ahead maybe and uh, redeploy this project down to the MT2000. Uh, when I open up the application again, you should see the the new print button. So I'll open up Tracer Plus again. Okay, now when I select the price markdown list here, you can see uh, the new button has been added. Uh, if I hit the F5 key, this will attempt to print the data here. I don't have a Bluetooth printer uh, connected to this, but this will print the form contents. For the MT2, uh, uh, or that you fill out for the for the sale label, so you can see um, some of the the changes that we've made to Tracer Plus Desktop and Tracer Plus allows a user to uh, uh, navigate around the Tracer Plus application and really quickly uh, build mobile applications for the MT2000 and utilizing some of the uh, the, the, spe the special features of the MT2000 really quickly get up and running with a mobile application. Uh, one other thing I'll just mention here is this: the battery meter. This is new to Tracer Plus as well. Uh, that'll allow you to view the uh, the current ch uh, charge of the battery. So this will actually uh, it's in the cradle now, but deplete as you're using the device and give you a warning as you get lower. Uh, so that's that's really what I wanted to show you today. Some of the, the different changes of uh, Tracer Plus and the desktop tool to support the MT2000, as well as how you how you guys can quickly download these applications uh, and really get up and running with the MT2000 and mobile development re uh, really quickly. Uh, the other software that we offer are the syncing tools that allow you to take the data that you're collecting on the MT2000 and connect them to a pre-existing back-end data source. Uh, so just to touch on a couple of the applications here, um, we have ODBC Link, which is a batch syncing tool. And that allows you to map the forms that you push out to the to the MT2000 or the mobile device, and map those forms into a pre-existing database uh, where uh, which has an ODBC driver available. So you're really you can latch on to a, some pre-existing data source and and in a batch fashion sync the, the data back and forth. Uh, we also offer the wireless server, which allows you to um, use the MT2000 in real time. So similar to ODBC link, you're mapping the forms on the PDA to the backend database, but now you're utilizing the uh, wireless LAN capabilities of the device to transmit that data in a real-time fashion back to a pre-existing database. And the, uh, the last option here is our, our newest uh, syncing tool, which is Tracer Plus Connect for Microsoft Excel. This is actually a, a, a add-in to Microsoft Excel, which, al which allows you to sync uh, your forms from the PDA down to your Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Uh, so we, we offer that on our website, and that's a, in a batch mode as well. It's, it's not a real-time application like the wireless server. And uh, with that, we'll close the webinar. Thank you very much for attending.